Hey guys, welcome back to IDB. My name is Michael. In this video, I wanna talk about some iOS 18 features that you probably forgot about. When iOS 18 first came out, it was a pretty substantial update. And whenever we have a big iPhone upgrade like this, there are always features that you forget about on your iPhone. And that's what I wanna cover in this video. So I have a list of 12 really cool features on iOS 18 that I wanna cover. Let's go ahead, roll the intro and jump right in. All right, starting off with number one, this one is pretty cool. It is for your home screen. So you're probably familiar with the ability on your iPhone's home screen to have widgets and apps. However, in iOS 18, it is a lot easier now to make apps into widgets and vice versa. So here on my third page, you can see I have one widget and one application. Let's say, for example, I wanna make this widget into an app icon instead. All I have to do is press and hold on it and then press this icon on the far left and just like this, it'll transform into an app icon. You can also do the same thing with app icons and bring them into widgets. So say I wanna make weather into a widget. If I press and hold on it, I can click this button and I can change it just like this. You can also make it any size. So going back to the fitness app, if I press and hold on it, let's say I wanna make this a large widget. I can press the large button just like this and I've now transitioned that app icon into a widget. So this is just gonna make customization on your home screen so much faster. All right, and speaking of faster, next up at number two is for turning off your iPhone. Most of you are probably turning off your iPhone by pressing and holding the power and volume up buttons to get to this menu. However, there's actually a much faster way. So instead of touching any physical buttons on your iPhone, inside of Control Center, there is now actually a hidden button on the top right. You can see there is now a power button. If you click it, it actually doesn't work. You may think it's broken. However, you actually have to haptic press on the button, which is fancy iPhone terms for a press and hold. So if you press and hold on the power button here, you can go into the power off menu. And next up for number three, we're gonna transition back to customization on the home screen. There is a pretty cool thing that you can do with app icons to make your home screen look a little bit more aesthetic. So press and hold in blank space, and then press edit on the top left. And then click on customize right here. Now you can see all the customization options we have for our applications. And many people completely overlook the tab at the top, which says small and large. If you press on large, your iPhone is gonna completely eliminate all of the labels below your applications. Most people know what the app icons are without even having the labels there. So I believe this is gonna make your iPhone look a lot more clean and the app icons are also larger, which makes them easier to click on. Next up at number four is for the Notes application. We have two updates inside of Notes that I really love in iOS 18. And the first one is collapsible headers. So just for an example, I have my workout split right here. And if you have a note that has separate headers with this different text style, you're actually able to collapse these sections. So first of all, how do you get this? Well, when you're typing, if you press on this little icon right here on the far left, instead of choosing body, if you choose subheading and then you have body text below it, you're actually able to collapse those sections. So here, if I click on my push workout, you can see we have this little arrow right here. If I press this, I can actually collapse each section just like that. So I can collapse my push day, I can click on pull, I can collapse that one as well. So for example, if I'm just doing legs today, I can hide my other workouts and just see this one. So it kind of makes all of your notes a bit more concise and you have the option to collapse and expand different sections. And then something else I love inside of notes, it is pretty small, but I like it. We are now able to add color to our notes. So here, let's just say I want my title to be different if I select it and then press on this icon once again. You can see at the bottom right, we have a color option. So if I press on this, I can change the color of my text. Let's say we're gonna make it orange. And just like that, I have now changed the color of my text. Okay, moving right along for number five, this one is for the calendar. Now it's a pretty small feature, but I love that Apple added this option. So when you're in the calendar, you may remember in iOS 17, you really couldn't adjust your view. And whenever you had an event on a certain day, it would simply just show a gray dot on each day. What's great in iOS 18 is now the dots are actually color coded so you can tell which events are on which calendar, but it goes one step further and you can actually pinch in this view to completely customize exactly how zoomed in you wanna be. So you can see if I grab my calendar and just pinch in, you can see the color coding is a little bit bigger. And then if I keep going, it's actually gonna show me the names of all of these events. 
And then what's really cool about this, it's just a really small attention to detail thing from Apple, but when you are pinching in, you actually get haptic feedback on your iPhone and it feels really satisfying when you do this. And the next feature is also inside of Calendar and reminders are now integrated inside of the Calendar app. And this is actually one of my favorite low-key features in iOS 18, just because I really didn't like using the Reminders app because the Calendar app is just so much better in my opinion. So here, when you're in the Calendar, if you press on the plus icon, when you're adding a new event, you can see we have the option to add an event or a reminder. So if I click on Reminder, I can just call it Test. And if I click on add, you can see the reminder has now been added to my day and you can check off your reminder just like this. And just like any other reminder, you can add a time to it, you can add a reminder. And also when you add a reminder inside of calendar, it'll also show up in the reminders app if you want that. All right, next up at number seven is for the photos application. But since I'm in the Photos app, just look how cute my new kitten is. Her name is Soda, she's absolutely adorable. But uh, moving along, inside of Photos, there is an all new Utilities folder at the bottom. So you can see here, if we scroll to the bottom, there is Utilities. And the default ones are Favorites, Hidden, Recently Deleted, and Duplicates. But you can actually click on this Utilities button and you can see even more. So Photos can detect uh, photos with handwriting, it can detect illustrations, QR codes, uh, even documents, and you can also see photos of maps as well. So this is really, really cool, and uh, Photos is able to detect a lot more stuff now in iOS 18, that may be because of AI, but if you're looking for something really specific, like a receipt for example, you can go into the Utilities folder and you can click on any of these options. For number eight, we're gonna stay inside the Photos app because there is something really cool I wanna show you. So people are hating on the iOS 18 Photos app just because they don't think it's as good as iOS 17. And to be honest with you, I actually agree. I think the Photos app was actually better in iOS 17. The layout was better, the buttons were more clickable. Like just look how small this search button is. It really is not that good. However, there actually is one thing that I do like in the Photos app. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, a lot of people miss this. There's actually a button here to customize and reorder your Photos app, which is really nice. So here you can see I've removed some things, like I don't wanna see recent days or pin collections. And I've actually reordered this. So I wanna see my featured photos first, and then memories, and then trips, and then so on. And using these grabbers here on the right side, you can actually reorder these. So you can actually customize your Photos app more than you could in iOS 17. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna make up for how bad the Photos app now is in iOS 18, but it is nice that you can actually customize the order of the application. So moving along to number nine, the next one is also inside of Photos and it is for editing a photo. So this feature I wanna show you is called Cleanup and it allows you to remove unwanted items from photos and it uses AI to do this and it honestly works pretty well. So here is a photo of soda and let's say I wanna remove this pop can from the photo just cause it doesn't really look that good. If I click on the edit button on the bottom of the screen, you can see we have an icon here that looks like an eraser. And if you click on it, we are now in the cleanup feature. And it is going to do its best job to detect items. You can see it detected the area around the can, but it didn't detect the can, I don't know why. So I'll do my best to select the can just like this. And the AI is going to remove it the best it can. And that did a horrible job. So that's the reason I don't edit these videos because I wanna show you the feature as it actually is. I was able to get the can removed in a previous attempt at this. So I'll zoom in and I'll try again. There we go. So it did a little bit better of a job. And then if I click on done, you can see it still shows kind of a weird shadow, but it can remove unwanted objects. It does a better job if something is in the background, not fully in focus. So let's, uh, let's just try again. Let's try to remove these glasses from the table. So I'll click on edit once again, go to clean up, I'll zoom in, and then let's select the glasses. And actually it did a fantastic job removing the glasses. So if I click on done, here is now the altered photo, the pop can is no longer there and the glasses are no longer there. So again, I don't edit these videos to make the features appear better than they actually are. Uh, as you saw there, the feature just didn't work upon initial try. And that's honestly the reality of Apple's AI features right now. Uh, sometimes when you're using cleanup, it may require a few tries to get it right. 
Okay, moving right along with number 10. This is the last one inside the Photos app. Uh, this one's kind of cool. I completely forgot this even existed. So when you're editing a photo, sometimes it's nice if the UI is dark and you may think the only way to do this is to put your phone into dark mode. However, there's actually a way that you can have your editing view dark while having your iPhone in light mode. So when you're editing a photo, if you click the three dots on the top right, you can see we have appearance. And if you click on this, you can choose whatever the system is, or you can choose always dark or always light. For me, I'm gonna choose always dark. This way, it's a bit more immersive when you're editing your photo, even if your phone is in light mode. Okay, our second to last feature at number 11 is for the camera. More specifically, it is for videos. When you are recording a video now in iOS 18, you'll see we have an all new button on the bottom left, which simply allows you to pause the video. We have been asking Apple for this for so long, and when you pause the video, it kind of is confusing. You don't really know which button you have to press to keep resuming the video. It is the one on the left side, just like this. I wish the UI was a little bit better, but the feature is still here nonetheless. I am so glad Apple finally added this option because if you wanna record something long, but you have an interruption in the middle of your video, you don't wanna stop the video and have a whole new recording. Sometimes it's nice just to have the pause button right here. All right, and finally at number 12, inside the all new passwords application in iOS 18, there's a pretty cool option for Wi-Fi networks. So before I talk about that, first of all, the passwords app is a fantastic new app in iOS 18. Before in iOS 17, all of these passwords lived inside of settings, which honestly just made absolutely no sense. So I'm really glad that Apple now has a dedicated app where all of your passwords can live. But the feature I wanna highlight at the end of this video is for Wi-Fi. So you know when you have friends over and they wanna join your Wi-Fi network? For me, I have a really secure Wi-Fi password and I don't wanna tell them the 13 digit alphanumeric code to sign into my Wi-Fi. It would be so much easier just to give them a QR code especially if the person doesn't have an iPhone, because when it's iPhone to iPhone, you can click on the share password button. But if I wanna share a QR code with one of my friends who has an Android device, all I have to do is click on Wi-Fi, and then I'll just choose something that's not my network for security. I can click on show network QR code, and then all I have to do is scan this code and they'll be connected to the Wi-Fi. All right, so that's gonna do it. I hope after watching this video, you guys learned at least one new thing that your iPhone is capable of. If you found this video informative or fun or entertaining, helpful, anything, uh, please drop a like and comment down below telling me what you thought. With all that said, my name is Michael with IDB. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.